sights and architectural wonders of all time. Beautiful. God, what a place. Just to be around it for me is amazing. It's a trip he's been wanting to do for years, and Drew has lined up four unique buying opportunities across northern Italy, starting in the world-famous city of Venice. There you go, T. Don't take and don't bring you anywhere <laughs> nice, because look at this. I just love this place. Dream of, you know, imagining, just, just say, I'm just, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go to Italy and buy antiques off incredibly good antique dealers. It's a dream. I'm just worried because the food's so good that I'm going to be beyond my baggage allowance going back. I don't care. I want lasagna for breakfast. So today we are about an hour outside Venice and mm. uh, we're going to uh, Antico Nevio and we're meeting uh, Manuela, the daughter of Nevio, who is the guy who started the business. Self-taught antique dealer. His warehouse is, is his house as well. So I'm, I, I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully, it could be good. From the 15th century, as Venice grew into one of Europe's richest financial centers, the city's nobility invested its newfound wealth in extravagant estates in the neighboring countryside. Today, a former hunting lodge for Venetian aristocracy has become home to a grand antiques emporium. Started over half a century ago by self-taught local dealer and now run by the next generation, including his daughter, Manuela Misaglia, who today will give Drew and T the tour, along with her niece, Raquela Farine. L'azienda si chiama Antichità Nevio e l'ha creata il papà. E è iniziata per, per fame. Aveva tre, quattro figli da mantenere, ha cominciato a fare questo lavoro senza sapere, conoscere niente, e piano piano eh, ha avuto tante intuizioni e abbiamo continuato l'attività. Ho visto che è un esperto molto magari più di noi, molto più di noi. Quindi io penso di mostrargli tutto e sarà lui, pensavo io, a vedere cosa gli interessa di più. E sono disposto a trattare. Here we are. Antico Nevio. Look at this place. Extraordinary. Hello. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you, Drew. How are you doing? Buongiorno, nice to meet you. Raquele. 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 Yeah. Manuela. Manuela, lovely to meet you. Well, where do we start? There's a lot of things here already that I'm liking the look of. This place is amazing. I couldn't be happier. It's just the most incredible setting. It's like a grand architectural salvage art gallery antique shop. I mean, we pull up in the car, I can see 50 things I'm interested in straight away. Who knows what's inside? What a place. Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's quite something. It's a hell of a mix. I want to make sure I see everything. There's a lot to see here, isn't there? Gesso. 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 Plaster. Gesso. Yeah, okay. gesso. How much is he? Quanto? 300 euro. 300. It's got a faux bronze paint finish on it, which is chipped and worn and overpainted and scuffed and patinated and scratched and beaten up. But my word, does it look good. Dating from 1895, this skillfully rendered plaster bust is of an unknown subject, suggesting a distinguished doctor or writer. In imposing life size and standing on an intact decorative base, it could be worth around 1,100 pounds. 250? 250. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that yes? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Grazie. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll take him. Coming to Nevio's place today has in, enhanced my love of Italy, the way they cherish and nurture beauty. It's just a very, very good looking piece. Just a very good looking piece. And we're in the money on that one. So many beautiful little things. This is a vice. It's just a joiner's workbench, or it could be any, any workbench. So we're now down in one of the massive parts of the main warehouse, and something just caught my eye, and it's um, a rustic timber work vice. Freestanding. This is a piece that's just got soul. This was made by a man who had nothing. He had the stump of a tree and he needed to make a vice. And he's made it 
and it's now beautiful. Quanto costa? 6.50. 650. It's really sculptural, isn't it? Look at that for a thing. Oh, it's too much money. Manuela, si? come here. We need to chat. OK, I'll stay out of swinging distance. 300. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, come on. It's possible. No, no. It's very no, possible. No, possible. It is possible. No, se no. Everything's possible. Eh, eh, C'è un collega della Toscana che se lo vendo a 300 mi cancella dalla sua amicizia. <laughs> There's a, a guy from Tuscany yeah. who's going to kill her if, he, if she sells for... For 300. I, uh, <laughs> the ultima mia, last, She's come up her to Her last five. bid is 500. Mm. 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 That has been there. <laughs> that has been there. there for 20 years. Let's have, come on, just have a deal. 400. But dai, dai, facciamo che il consiglio ha detto di sì. Dai, approved. Okay. 400. Approved. 400. 400. Good. Right. Fantastic. Thank you. It's a lost age. You know, that man who made that will have never known about electric lights, will have never known about the car, the motorbike. He clearly doesn't have an artistic background, but he has made something that is artistically beautiful. <clears throat> Stuff literally just rammed in everywhere. These paintings, is that painting? It's fairly gruesome, but I like it. It's a hunting scene, and it's a very, very country-looking thing. The sky and the clouds on it are magic. I mean, they're not just good. They're really good. This is somebody who really knows what they're talking about. This stylized, dynamic portrayal of huntsmen, stag and hounds in oil probably dates from the 18th century. This size of painting is sought after by interior decorators, as it will fit perfectly in a space above a sofa or console table. In excellent original condition, it could be worth around £3,000. This is 2008. It's the perfect size, but it's too much money. Like Neanche se faccio due e quattro. 2004. No. <laughs> Keep going. In an extraordinary emporium just over 60 miles west of Venice, Drew's bargaining hard for a perfectly proportioned 18th century oil painting. 2004. No. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> 2003. You're at 2003. I'm, in my brain, 1008. We're 500 apart. And then, after I'm out of the society, I'm She will be kicked out of the business. I'm a social minority. I'm okay with that. 200 and I'm not a minor. 2000 and one. And that's it. No. Si. No. Si. Two, or I go. OK. Deal. Deal, thank you. The, the trick with a good deal, a good deal, you should both feel a little bit of pain, right? She's come down a bit. I've paid a little bit more. We've met in the middle. We've done a deal. We've walked away as friends. We can come back and deal again. <laughs> Look at this place, my God. God, this is lovely. <sighs> Questo, Tell me about this. This was probably a fascist general. Probably a fascist general. A fascist general. So after fascism, they would uh, tear everything down yeah. that, uh, that reminded of fascism. But this was probably too beautiful and they didn't want to get rid of it. So they yeah, just to get rid of it. So they, they just scratched uh, the name. Most of these were torn down, melted down, destroyed, blown up, whatever. It's what happens. You know, a dictatorship goes, all the statues come down. This one survived. That makes it even more interesting. The fact that it's now an art piece, and it really is, and all of those little things, including his name being deleted, has added to the sort of allure of it, the cachet of owning it. And there's a lot of cachet to owning this. How much is it? Quanto? Quanto? 3,500 euro. 3,500. Okay, well, we're not a million miles apart. Um, 2,800. 2,800. It's good. È un uomo coraggioso. You're a brave man. <laughs> <laughs> that or stupid, I'm not entirely sure which one. <laughs> 3,000. 
It's a nice round number. OK. That is a great purchase. And for 3,000 euros, I am over the moon. Well, what a day. I was able to come here and we'll see you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Love that. What a day. Fantastic. I mean, all the buys today, from the small plaster bust through to the incredible painting, and then that incredible bronze bust. Yeah. The second I saw that, I knew I was going to buy it. The second I saw it, I thought, he's going to buy that, and that's going to be heavy. <laughs>